exciting episode of people and events i am glory agbo on our lineup this time you'll get a feel of the sights and sound of easter as well as a stage play titled lockdown in jerusalem still on the spirituality and on what could be referred to as a positive coincidence we join our muslim faithful for if start with the less privileged in abuja Finally, we bid farewell to an astute journalist in Makudi. Thank you for joining me on the program. We'll be right back. Easter holiday regarded as one of the most significant seasons in the Christian calendar marks the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the death. Though the celebration has come and gone, but the activities marking the Holy Week through Easter to Resurrection Sunday was well captured. Ekene Ndulwe presents some of the highlights. The Easter Sunday, which is the culmination of the 40 days Lenten season of prayers, abstinence and charity is usually celebrated as victory over death and sin with the resurrection of Jesus Christ from death. And every year, different Christian denominations dramatize the events that chronicle the journey of Jesus Christ from his entry into Jerusalem, crucifixion on the cross of Calvary, to his resurrection from death. <laughs> This procession was on Palm Sunday, the first day of the Holy Week, an event that symbolizes the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. A crowd of people had gathered to welcome Jesus, who was riding on the back of a donkey, waving palm leaves with shouts of Hosanna. Well, the leaves here are quite scanty, maybe because Abuja has become densely urban, and you can't easily gets palm trees in the city. Then comes the Monday Thursday, believed to be the day when Jesus celebrated his final Passover with his disciples. After the Last Supper, Jesus Christ washed the feet of his disciples, commanding them to do same to each other and to love one another just as he has loved them. Love all heaven yourselves! What other witnesses do we need? And here comes the main act. The Passion of Christ tells the story of how Jesus Christ was unjustly condemned by the Romans, humiliated and crucified on the cross of Calvary. Pieces of silver. We hope it will be enough. He had been betrayed by one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, for 30 pieces of silver, but of course, he did not live to enjoy the fruits of his betrayal. The beatings during the Passion play looked real, drawing sympathy from onlookers. <laughs> but then, they were only for illustrations. You know, Jesus, throughout his teaching, used parables. It's like teaching eight. Can you imagine 
the youth dramatizing the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ will make it easier for people to see, for people to follow, and for people to understand. It's like a teaching aid in a class or teaching and giving stories. People understand the story easier and also people will see the drama and follow exactly what happened that particular day. Trust Nigerians to take the play to various levels. Aye! Aye! Lord, if you know you are true Lord, save yourself and save us. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Ella, Ella! Kabashi! Kabas! Kabas! In all the drama, the messages remain the same. Jesus Christ died and resurrected for the redemption of mankind, bringing the hope of everlasting life for the faithful. Thank you, Ekene. Still on the Easter celebration, a stage play that showcases the significance of Easter and its leverage on our daily living as Nigerians is our next report. Let's see this. Proof of life over death being enacted to demonstrate God's love for mankind. And you, 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 all of us, remember his trial before Pilate? What did we say? We said, Crucify him, crucify him. You were there, Shamos, full of wine like a sponge in the bottle. Crucify him, he shouted. And you, and you, this darkness is on all of us. Even Pilate will have none of it, but we, us all. And then they brought that scourge of Israel, Barabbas. 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 Suppose that he retired breaker of laws. Previous breaker of laws. If he is retired, can Saint be sent for his ten place? Oh, here. Yeah. And are they lurking outside, waiting for him to give a signal so they can come and retire us? I oh. can hear you, you know. Sacrifice, perseverance, as exemplified by Christ on the cross, is the reason for the season. Easter, a time to be reminded of God's supreme sacrifice. Also, gesture to your leaders, O oh Jews. <laughs> I choose this day to make you an offering of Roman honor. Uh, as you will notice, the men before you on trial are of your tribe and kin. Well, that is because us Romans are taught from our mother's breasts to be law-abiding in all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the first accused, Jesus the Nazarene, non-trade, carpentry, public speaker, uh, wine-making, Water walking, bread multiplier, healer, doctor of demons, and the like, and the like. Charges brought, disturbing the peace, uh, talking too loudly, breaking Jewish laws like Torah bending and disobeying direct commands of elder prophets. Terrible. But he, he smiled at me. And that moment I, I saw him as he truly was. No grime on him. He had a fancy crown. His robes were glistening and bright, almost as one on fire, but a beautiful fire. Sorry. The House on the Rock, the Refuge Abuja, in collaboration with 2MG Theatre Group, staged a play titled Lockdown in Jerusalem. On the death of Christ, his message as he ascends to heaven. Jesus is dead and you are free, just as I promised. Now you will keep your end of our contract. Jesus is not dead. So you say. But the terms of our agreement stands. In any case. Sad to see. Jesus spoke to me at the trial before Pilate and we came into our own agreement. 
I am sorry. And you would never know how much. But covenant is higher than contract. I toss you, Barabbas! The Bible said that they had gone to the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ to anoint his body. On getting there, they were amazed at what they saw because the stone had been rolled away from the tomb. And of course, when they saw that, they were curious as to why the stone had been rolled away. So they got into the tomb to look and to find out what was going on. As they entered into the tomb, they discovered that the body of our Lord Jesus Christ was no longer in the tomb. And so they were perplexed, they were amazed, they were baffled as to what had happened. And while still wondering what was going on. The Bible said that two angels had appeared to them in dazzling garments and very white robe and asked them while they were seeking the living amongst the dead. Jesus is indeed reason. Then came praises and thanksgiving to God as a practical expression of appreciation to God for the supreme sacrifice, which gives hope and courage to live a life devoid of strife and rancor, which promotes peaceful coexistence amongst Nigerians. <laughs> Redemption of the price that was paid. I mean, we would have been in captive if not for this. We would have been in pain, bondage, slavery if not for this. So what the resurrection means is perfection of the essence of the price that needed to be paid for our redemption. It's understanding what this means. It comes from the understanding, which means you need to ponder upon the fact that if you are redeemed, you show appreciation. So what this means is that we've been redeemed and we are grateful. That's why we are gathered here today. Firstly, that there's somewhere up there after this earth, which is heaven, and I have internal peace over there. After all the old tribulations and everything happening around the world, there's a place called home, a place of rest and eternity, a place of bliss after you're on earth. As a Christian, resurrection for me, it means um, rising above every situation. Uh, we know life is fluid and of course, living on earth, tribulations will come, trials will come, temptations will come, but because of the reason of the resurrection of Christ, we are able to live above board in everything we do. For me, I would say it's given me a new chance. It's like a new person. Christ died for our sins and if he didn't die, I think a lot of things we would have done in this life, you know, you, he died so that we could have another chance. That's what the resurrection of Christ means to me. And there was comedy to lighten the mood and marry the heart. God bless you. So if you see the way they talk of odd. Ah, so you don't cost chess now. When you see where these guys, they cost for buckler when they lose. But let's be sincere. If it's not greed that will kill you, how can you use 100 Naira to win 60 million? 100 Naira to win 60 million. Even Jesus go the way I did, they say, this one, not be me go if you do this miracle. <laughs> Yes, Easter.
also brings so much positive messages. Moving on now, it's the blessed month of Ramadan. One distinguished factor of this period is that Muslims around the world come together to observe the importance of sharing blessings and fostering unity within the community. In this package, Gufan Shaji Gwani tells us how the evening unfolded for some less privileged persons in Abuja who got The importance of Ramadan and sharing food to the less privileged so we can just get more unity within the people and spread love. So I want to use this opportunity to beacon on each and every one of us to continue to spread love, to continue to preach harmony, peace, community living, and friendship. For those who... Thank you, Gufan. It's a good gesture to always share and show care to the not so privileged in our community. Time now to take a breather. People and events will be right back. Do stay. Welcome back. The body of a prolific reporter and commentator, John Batiman, has been committed to Mother Earth in his country home in Benue State. Charles Abba, what's that? His full name is John Taylor Batiman, popularly known as John Batiman, a name that vibrated and reverberated in the media as a prolific reporter and frontline sports commentator. John Batiman joined the Nigerian Television Authority in 1981 as News Assistant 1 and rose through the ranks. After a meritorious service of 35 years, John Taylor Batman retired in 2016. He answered the inevitable call and submitted to the cold hand of death. That was Saturday, February 24, 2024. March 19, 2024 was a dark Tuesday for the community of Se Asema, Usa district of Kwande local government area of Benue State, the country home of late John Batiman, as they received the body of their illustrious son. A funeral service was held in his honor by the Universal Reformed Church of Christ, known as NKST, at his family compound. The resident pastor, Alumun Liam, emphasized the temporality of life on earth and urged all to imbibe the fear of God. If they focus their attention on God, they will not feel his departure as compared to those who rely on humans. The farewell song, led by late John Batema's wife, Juliana Membe, and other members of the family, was on a tearful note. I will miss him a lot, but it is his time. Me too, I will go. But I don't know the day. May he rest in peace. God knows why he's he has taken his life by this time. We are still we are hoping that he will reach up to 100 plus before God will take him back. Attestations to let John Batema's virtues of just, social, and kind life were voiced freely by friends and sympathizers. John, as I know him, He's a very compassionate, humble, sincere, honest uh, human being. Our consolation is that he's already in heaven because to me, he's a blameless man. Late John Batman left behind his wife, three children, two grandchildren and other relatives at the age of 66. soul find rest that's it on this episode of people and events thank you for joining us see you next time i am glory bye for now <laughs>